I N D I A N A, that's Indiana. Ballin' like Reggie Miller, that's Indiana. I put on for my state, that's Indiana. Watch me rap it in your face, that's Indiana. That's Indiana. That's Indiana. Hi, it's Matt from Ludovox, and we are day two of Gen Con 1216, and we are with Justin Gary, the designer and publisher of Ascension. Hi, Justin. Hi, great to be here. How's it doing? Awesome. Uh, Gen Con's always been my favorite show. It's, uh, we actually launched Ascension here exactly six years ago, and now we're here with our 10th expansion. Uh, it's just crazy to me. So uh, the 10th expansion is called War of Shadows, right. and as far as I can see, it's still 13 plus as for the age, two to four players, but maybe more with the expansions, and it lasts a game lasts around 30 minutes. Yeah, that's right. Just like every other set of Ascension, um, it's standalone. You can, if you've never played Ascension before, you can buy War of Shadows and play it just perfectly right out of the box, or you can combine it with other Ascension sets, um, and it all plays well together. So we've really, you know, kept that theme up for the the entirety of the ten sets. So it's very exciting. So it's still a deck building game, um, and it still has some cool features that you're going to explain in like one second. The one second explanation, yeah. So in addition to the, the fact that you know we were one of the first deck building games and you have the center row that you replace whenever you buy a new card, you replace it with, uh, with a new one. One of the major new mechanics in War of Shadows is that each one of the cards has a light or dark uh, theme to it. And if the center row has more light cards than dark cards, then it's day. If it has more dark cards than light cards, then it's night. And then there's a bunch of cards that have specific powers that trigger when it's day or night. So it completely changes the whole equation about when you want to buy cards and which cards you want to buy, because not just what you want in your deck, but also how you control the day-night to take advantage of it or to make sure your opponents can't take advantage of it. So um, the game still ends when uh, you have no more um, gems, honor, right, tokens. And I think that a noteworthy thing is that uh, it's really a staple of deck building that you play your cards in any order, the cards that you have in your hand, and you apply their effects. And then you can do whatever you want. Um, what about the uh, events uh, system that you had in the previous um, in the previous boxes or the uh, the gems? What about them? So if you're you're talking about the event cards that we had in previous sets, so we had a, a, our, our previous set, Storm of Souls and Darkness Unleashed, both had one of the mechanics that was called events. It was one of our most popular mechanics that we've had. Um, basically, what it is is when a card in the center row gets an event card gets flipped up in the center row, it gets set aside, and then like changes the game rules for everyone. Um, and uh, I will tell you that. Uh, we are working on other Ascension sets where uh, events uh, are going to be making a comeback. Uh, this is actually, I haven't told anybody this, so you guys are getting this as an exclusive. Um, I won't tell you exactly when, and there's a little twist on them that makes them a little bit more new and interesting. Um, you know, what we try to do with every set is do something that's a little bit different, something that really forces uh, the change. Just like with, with War of Shadows, we have the, the day-night mechanic, as well as we have actually dual cost cards, which we've never had before, where you actually spend runes and power to acquire a card. We have one of them in the center row here. Um, and and so what the but when you've done ten sets, you don't want to put every mechanic in every set, right? If I put every mechanic that we've ever used in set ten, nobody would ever be able to play it, right? I mean, unless you've been following it the whole time, you wouldn't know what to do. So what we'll do is we'll rotate mechanics out and then bring them back when we want, you know, when we think it's appropriate, and and try to present them in a new light. And that's kind of what keeps the game interesting, what keeps the game fresh, but still makes it so that new players are joining all the time and jumping in all the time. So again, we'll. We will have uh, favorites like um, events come back, and um, I think you referenced uh, gems. You were, I think you were talking about uh, the Dreamscape Insight mechanic, or were you talking about something else? No, the gems from uh, Darkness Unleashed, I think. Uh, from Darkness Unleashed. Oh, the energy shards and the ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So that was um, the the treasure mechanic, uh, and that was uh, one of my favorite mechanics for sure. Um, uh, that was a uh, uh, Rise of Vigil and Darkness Unleashed both had that. Um, and yeah, again, same sort of thing, right? We loved it. It was great. It was it completely changed the way you you know you saw the game and played the game. But it was a very big, very complicated mechanic that we built two whole sets around. So um, it's 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 going to take a little hiatus for a while, and then you know maybe a couple sets down the road it'll come back and it'll it will present in a new form. So all of the the fan favorites and and by the way, you guys can all come to ascensiongame.com, uh, come to the forums, post stuff, let us know what you think. Go to our Facebook page, um, and we listen to the fans, you know. And I actually brought 
not only the set 10 to this show, but I brought the prototype for set 11, and I've been playing it with people here at Gen Con. And the feedback that people give us helps create the next game. So um, definitely that's one of the great things about now having a brand that's been alive for this long is that we have, you know, really core fans. Um, and in, in one of those fans uh, is uh, actually here today who helped us build the brand new virtual reality Ascension. Um, this was actually a really cool thing. We literally met them at Gen Con here at one of our fan events. They were super excited about the game. They wanted to partner with us to bring Ascension to virtual reality. That is available right now. We actually can play it at the booth, and it's available on the Steam store. It's available on the Oculus store. Um, you can play it on the G Samsung Gear. And you get the experience of sitting around a tabletop with your friends playing a board game, playing Ascension, but it's... They could be anywhere around the world. So you can actually hear other players talk. You can see their lips move and their avatars move in the game. Um, you really get that social experience. That's such a great part of, of what makes Ascension awesome. Uh, you know, we were the first deck building game to come to mobile, and everybody loves the um, you know the Play Deck app, and they uh, and it's really fast and really convenient, and you can play with your friends anywhere. But you don't really get much social. You know, it's it's kind of you're, yes, you can play against your friends, but you don't really get to talk. You don't really get to feel like they're there. In virtual reality, you feel like they're there. You get to actually interact with them in a way that it's just like if we can figure out how to virtually like you know pass Mountain Dew around the table I think we'll just pretty much have the whole tabletop experience covered what about you, you talked about the the app what about the release of the new expansions so uh, Dreamscape and well War of Shadows what about the release of them yeah so uh, we get this question a lot uh, everybody's excited to see the new apps come out um, and they are in the works um, I will tell you that we have uh, in-house we've been working on the prototype for Dreamscape um, and for those that aren't familiar Dreamscape was the ninth Ascension expansion and um, it uses a whole new mechanic of the the dream deck where you actually get some cards set aside at the beginning of the game that only you get to purchase um, and then you use a new resource called insight to be able to buy them so it's a great thing for people who you know you always want to get that card in the center row and somebody else buys it right out from under you or banishes it now with your dreamscape you've got your cards protected so you can plan your whole strategy around them um, so I can't give you an exact date on when that one's gonna release but it's it's gonna be uh, it's measured in weeks not months at this point so so we're working on that and then War Shadows will follow after that along with a bunch of promo cards and things we will be releasing so you should see a lot of uh, Ascension digital fun as well uh, in the next coming months so um, I'd like us to talk about uh, the art style that evolved so um, in this in this set and the previous set, Dreamscape, you introduced new artists, and even in uh, Dawn of Champions, I think. Yeah, that's right. So um, you know, we had uh, Eric Sabi was the original artist for Ascension, and you know, uh, to give a little bit of backstory, so Eric uh, is somebody who I uh, he lived across the hall from me when I just moved out of college over what 12 years ago now, something like that. And uh, he was a fantastic artist. We became friends. And so when I first started making Ascension, I said, hey, you know, what, you know, can you do this? And I loved his style. And it was actually an inspiration for what the, the whole game was going to look like. Um, but now we make, you know, multiple sets a year. We've been doing this for six years. And, and he, uh, he can't handle all the art, you know, just by himself. So we've had to bring in other artists. And we've also evolved the style and created a world and a story that has, has evolved over time. And uh, we, if you can see the way the, uh, we're in the third edition of the, of the base game, the Ascension deck building game. And, um, you know, we've improved the art, we've updated the card frames, we've made everything much more modern, much more accessible. Um, and so that style and that art that's, that was the core inspiration of the game now has become something that's so much bigger and so much greater um, that I'm really excited to kind of see grow. I think Ascension X War of Shadows, you can kind of see the, the box and you can see the art and the style here. I think it's the best set we've ever done for graphically. Um, and we're looking to keep pushing that boundary and keep making, you know, one, not only one of the most fun to play games, but one of the best looking games out there. Um, then... Well, I w I'm wondering a bit, uh, like, do you plan to make other Ascension games, but outside of this game mechanic, do you want to expand the world of Ascension beyond deck building? Um, you know, uh, yes. I think uh, the you know with with a lot of our our worlds that we built, both with Ascension um, and with our, our digital collectible game Soulforge, right? We've put a lot of time and energy into building these worlds out. There's huge backstories, um, which most people don't even know. I mean, there's there's blurbs on each rulebook that kind of give you hints at what's going on, and the flavor text on the cards tells you a little bit of the story. But being able to take out those characters and flesh them out in other game mechanics and other ways um, to do it is definitely something we have been. Uh, been working on, but you know, especially when you have a, a a game and a brand like Ascension, you don't want to 
you don't want to dilute it either, right? You want to make sure that if you're going to use it for something else and you're going to build out and we're going to do a different kind of Ascension game, that it's it's true to the brand, that it's another great game. I mean, that's what we pride ourselves on. If the game is not great, we're not, you know, we're not putting it out there. Um, so, so it is something that we're interested in, uh, but it's not something we're going to rush. Okay, and my last question for Ascension War, uh, War Shadows is, do you plan to have it translated again into French? <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. We're looking uh, and working on uh, finding the right partners uh, to be able to do that. I unfortunately do not speak French, uh, uh, I, so I, uh, I can't do it myself. But uh, it's something we're looking into and actually having some talks here at the show uh, with some potential partners. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping very soon. Thank you, Justin, and see you on Nudevox. Bye. I N D I A N A, that's Indiana. Pulling like Reggie Miller, that's Indiana. Ooh.